The final thing I'm going to show you how to make is a rib stitch, commonly seen in hats or the wrists on gloves. You'll start with a knitted cast on and when you start the project you will alternate knitting one then purling one for the row. stitch you started with. For example, if you started the row off with a knit stitch, you should end the row with a purl. You will start every row the same. When casting off, you will knit each stitch. When the project is done, you will have distinct lines between the knitted parts and the purl parts. Pulling the work apart will make it more obvious that the work is ripped. 